This is another example where getting good with Excel really means getting good with data. My two previous videos were situations where Excel was the primary tool, but beginner to intermediate skill was required and the hard work happened outside of Excel. All the digging, all the figuring out what is this data? What's going on? Also, I've been hearing a lot lately about the importance of data literacy. It, understanding data, thinking about your data, your data quality, what reports mean, what reports are triggered by. All of that kind of stuff falls under data literacy where, you know, like you can make your SQL stuff and your Power Query stuff and write DAX and everything. Um, but if you don't have an understanding of how the data works or how the reports work, there's a real problem and the answers you get can be crazy. The decisions that get made can be wrong with catastrophic results. Here's the situation with this data. We are going to pay by the transaction. That's what the vice president of sales decided. This was new. Usually things are based on a percentage of the sale, but no, this item costs four hundred dollars and he's saying whatever transaction the rep is going to get seventy five dollars you give a fifty percent discount the person pays two hundred dollars you still get the seventy five dollars because this is a new situation we needed a new report and our reports are made by an off-site consultant who was expensive now we got two things we can do here one, pay this guy many thousands of dollars and maybe a month of working with me, going back and forth and testing to build this new report. Option two, take an existing report and modify it a bit for good enough purposes. The decision was made. Go with option two. And this is what I wound up with. This commission's report says, $75 per transaction. And then the sales says Alex had 23 sales to pay commissions on. And then there were seven refunds for a net of 16 transactions to pay. Multiply the 16 times 75 and we get $1,200 to pay Alex. And over here, I get a summary. There's a list of refunds. We can see Regina had three refunds. That's accurate. I can scroll down, look at all the sales, do some verification and say, yeah, everything is right. That's the money to pay. Then one day, Alex got curious. I don't know about that negative seven. I'd like some more details. So Alex's director came and asked me, can you get us some transparency here? Okay. So I worked with the offsite consultant, ran a bunch of reports to get some more detail. It took several days and this is what he got me. Here are all of the sales with the amounts that were paid. Good. Now we go to the refunds. Oh no, this is not something that the offsite consultant was anticipating. Order J37 refund on shipping. That's typically when somebody has said, doggone it, I paid for overnight shipping and the stuff came to me in three days. I want a refund on my shipping. Okay, so we give a refund on the $27. That should not be a transaction taken away from Regina. Order J42 employer discount. That happens when an employer has arranged for a discount for their employees and somebody will call up and say, I need these books, pay the $400. Then they'll call back a few days later and say, wait a minute, I didn't tell you that I work for State Farm and there is a discount for State Farm. Oh, right. Let me give you the $100 refund. But then we look down and see 
J101, that was a product that was returned because this person is not eligible to take the exam. They don't need to study materials. So that transaction should be taken away from Regina. Now here is where things get exciting and why if you can work with Excel and data dumps and parse data and dig around, you have some real power. Back when I was dealing with this, there was no Power Query, but I've got Power Query today. Now let's see how I might handle that now. I would get a data dump. That means I would write a query myself and just get every damn thing out about all of these transactions. Here's what we've got. Got the date, order, rep, amount of the refund, the shipping cost, the customer service rep who took the order, and then the refund amount and the refund reason. Cursor in the data set. Data from table slash range. Okay. I don't need the customer service rep data. Remove that column. I'm gonna turn this into a date. Open this pane, right click, reference. I wanna keep the returns. Go over here. Keep anything that has an R. Okay, this is gonna be my refunds query. There's no shipping cost here. Remove that column. No amount here. Remove that. Now I'm going to go look for the refund reasons. Go over here. Unselect all. I want to keep this one. Purchased the wrong books. Decided not to take the exam. Okay. Wow. We've gone from 12 refunds down to three. Now I'm gonna go over here, reference the query. I don't want anything that has an R. Okay, now I can get rid of this column. There isn't gonna be a refund reason or a refund amount. Get those out of the way. Now I wanna group by the rep and get a count. Group by. Rep. Count rows, okay. I'm gonna sort this. Now I'm gonna call this sales. Before I do the merge, I wanna go back to refunds. I wanna get a count. Group by, rep, count rows, okay. Rename this, refund count. Now, merge. Merge queries as new. I want sales up top, refunds on the bottom. Merge by the rep. Okay. Expand. Okay. Don't need this column. Right click, remove it. I've got to convert that null to a zero. Replace values. Null. Replace with zero. Okay. Add column. Custom column. Final count is going to be the count minus the refund count. Okay. Now I'm going to add another column. Multiply by the $75. Okay. Now that is the real commission that has to be paid. Close and load two. We owe everybody money except for CJ. This is something that happened for real. I'm not making stuff up for an example. And because this was so serious that we owed some people some serious money, 
This is why it's so important to think about the data. What is going on? Where did this report come from? It helps to understand that the consultant modified an existing report. And when those database people show up and say, why are you using Excel? You tell them about this. I pulled some asses out of some seriously hot fires with Excel and a data dump and some data literacy because we could not trust the report that was coming out of IT. See you in the next video.